Yo, what's going to family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great and today bring us the player view of 97 overall cornerback legend Charles Woodson. One of my favorite cornerbacks and one of the best cornerbacks in the game in my opinion. I really enjoyed this card. Check out the back of this one. It's got 6 foot 1, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 agility, 96 man coverage, 98 zone coverage, 93 press, 92 play recognition, and 84 catch. Legend Charles Woodson. Let's check out the attributes. Some attributes stand out to me that this guy has 84 catching along with 96 stamina, 95 jumping, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Really good cornerback in my opinion. Like I said before, I really enjoyed this card. One of my more favorite cornerbacks in the game. And he's pretty pricey. He goes for 310,000 on the PlayStation 4 and 287,000 on the Xbox One. Really expensive cornerback. Reason being because he's absolutely a beast. I know a lot of people want a cornerback that can actually maneuver his way to stop runs. And Charles Woodson absolutely did that for me. He gets off blocks really easily, so I really enjoyed that. Even though his attributes has a really low block shed with a, a 63 block shed. But in game, he felt really good. He got around the blocks really easily. You'll see throughout the highlights a couple run plays. He actually block shed and actually made the tackle. But like I said, block shedding is key for a lot of people. And, and Charles Woodson is really good with block shedding. His catching. His catching is actually pretty good. But there's occasions where he drops it when no one is around him. And I found that pretty weird. Like no one's around him, but yeah, he still drops it. It's kind of weird. Even though his attributes has 84 catching, 88 spectacular catch. And 62 catcher in traffic. It's kind of weird. Like, this is the play I'm talking about right here. Block shot, and he didn't make the tackle. He attempted to. But good try by Charles Woodson. But like I said, his uh, catching is okay. But when there's people around him, he just finds a way to make the catch. But when there's no one around him, he drops it every once in a while, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, but that's just mad and logic. Does he get most all the time? He doesn't get most all the time. But this is a video game, so court cards will get most from time in time out like right here that should have been an interception but this is madden he got most there so be mindful of that not every time he's going to get most but most of the time he will deflect the ball and smack it out of corners uh wide receiver hands when it's uh presented in his area and he does that a lot a lot of times when the pole is popped up in the air he finds a way to catch it and that's why i really enjoy this card how is he with man coverage and zone coverage he's more known for his zone coverage so i kept him in zone but man coverage he absolutely did a phenomenal job of, especially against the c routes and things like that he actually held his own with that aspect of the game and his speed he doesn't get burned 95 speed 94 agility 95 acceleration doesn't get burned at all Always keeps up with wide receivers no matter who it is. Even though that was a drag run, he got beat a little bit. He still find a way to make the interception and a pick six. Like I said before, I really enjoy this card. Great card user. Doesn't have great hit power. He has 76 hit power, but he gets the hit power animations a lot. So be mindful of that. He does close a fumble every once in a while. So I really enjoyed that about this card. One of my favorite corners in the game. If I had to give this guy an opinion, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. Really enjoyed the card, expensive card, but like I said, he is absolutely worth the price. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.